morning guys i hope you're all doing well <laughs> see barley up the top of the stairs coming to you from the basement this morning just been on a really nice dog walk actually one that i've kind of discovered um it's at quarry bank which we go to anyway of style but um oh, okay but it was the airport loop so it was a bit longer um lots of stairs up and down but we got there in the end and um i'm going to go to a riding lesson since i started up horse riding again and then i'm going over to my parents for the night so oh drivable yeah so that should be fun i'm actually going to go via a i've seen a, there's a new neptune outlet that's opened in batley in, I think it's called Redbrook Mill. I've never been there before, but there's, I think there's like a loaf sofa there. I Googled it. They're really dog friendly, like all of the shops within this Redbrook Mill. So it's kind of a bit of a pit stop for me. I wouldn't ordinarily go that way, but I thought I could go that way, check out the new Neptune outlet. It'd be a bit of a halfway pit stop for, for us both to have a stretch of the legs. See what they've got new in. I think they might have like Christmas stock, Christmas sale even, but we'll see when we get there. So I thought I would pick up the camera, have the last of the November days before it's December spent with you. Um, and I swear every single dog walk now in this weather involves towels in the wash, out the wash, in the wash, out the wash, a hose down outside. Honestly, Barney is just, in his element, running around, swimming, getting in the mud, but yeah, every walk is a muddy walk, so that kind of adds an extra 10 minutes at least to my morning routine. But anyway, I'm gonna head off to my horse riding lesson now, then over to Neptune, then to my parents. I might even, it's probably a bit early for my mum to decorate, but I might convince her, or I might at least go through their decorations, anything that she doesn't use, if there's any like nostalgic old ones, have a bit of a rummage, and maybe put them on my tree. <laughs> because she'll probably just have the one glam tree. We've got the one glam, but we're also having the one in the kitchen in December um, that I want to, to get. I definitely want to get a second one. So that's the plan for today. I hope you guys are all well. Where has this year gone? Where has November gone? October and November for me have just been, November especially, particularly busy, but October and November have flown by which is sad because they're probably my favorite months of the entire year. But anyway, we've got a few days left. I also just want to apologize actually because I feel like November with my gift guides and Christmas coming up, it's been quite haul heavy or haul kind of based. And those of you that prefer the vlogs, I do apologize because I feel like I've been slacking on the vlogs because I've literally just had so many videos going live that are all hauls. I know a lot of you like the whole content anyway, so that's fine, but I do feel like I've missed just catching up with you guys, which you can't really do in a haul video. So we have today's video, and then I think my next video might be a haul. Into December, I might do a lot more vlog, a haul, a vlog I meant. Into December, I might do more Vlogmas episodes, not daily, but um, I might try and do most of my videos, my Wednesday and Sunday uploads in December try and make them vlogs we'll see we'll see where the month takes us but yeah let's get on out to, to the stables and over to neptune i'm honestly really excited to um check out neptune so yeah let's go
sun is shining. I've had my visor down the whole time because it's been that bright. I've just made it to red brick and the way that it's set out, it's kind of like, there's a heel so that I can see, a big loaf. I might actually pop in there and see, just have a look at some sofas, <laughs> why not? And then the big Neptune, it's a huge double story and it's an outlet so you've got the big neptune there in front and then the big huge loaf over there as well there you go you can see it over there a bit better and then there's something called uh found at red brick we might have a look in there heels there it's been a lovely little drive to be fair should we go shopping should we stretch your legs So huge success at Neptune. I will show you the bits when I get, oh, one second bunny, itchy leg. Um, when we get back, we're just gonna have a look at loaf now. Come on, you want a drink? No? <laughs> okay, let's go. Love this little cushion that they've got. I saw a couple over there. I think they're about 29 pounds, but okay, the lighting's not very good. You can see a little bit better there. It's a bit bluey the light but i think they're about 29 pounds for those cushions and then i was looking at this sofa the smooch sofa um but the actual this material mixing bowl cleaver wobbly cotton available for a pre-christmas delivery but yeah i really like the uh, fabric of that one another thing i didn't realize they did is furniture like this i knew they did beds and sofas but they've got loads of like coffee tables side tables and obviously we need some side tables for our living room so yeah i really like the oak finish on that i think i might grab myself a free drink as it's telling me to do so i think the one in uh, wilmsdale our one's got like an ice cream station as well but yeah i'm just gonna grab one of these for the road i woke up this morning i looked outside my window where children lighting up the christmas tree and the snow is falling it reminds me of the good times Those winters we would spend Just you and me It's been such a long time But tomorrow's Christmas Day And I am on my way I'm coming home for Christmas Yes, I'm coming home to you Oh, how much I missed you what a lovely couple of hours hey so i had a little inside scoop so the neptune isn't double story it's currently single story ground floor outlet but they're going to test the waters for the year and if it's popular so everybody go if it's popular and they do well then they're going to open the upstairs as a neptune and then have the downstairs as the outlet so it's going to be a, a full double story store at the minute it's just the ground floor so it is a bit small but I went through loaf and had a look in the heel section. There's two cafes in there as well, which I did actually grab myself just a little sandwich before heading home. Went for goat's cheese. What should I get? Just pop it there for a sec. Goat's cheese. I can't remember what it was now. Beetroot. And, ooh, chutney. So yeah, I've got myself a sandwich and then I also got a bake well slice because, you know, sweet treat with my 
the vanilla chai tea but i did get quite a few bits from neptune a couple of the other stores i also got i haven't even looked at it yet a little goodie bag from neptune and their new color she did tell me what color it was and i can't remember what she said but they've got a new colored bag um and it's got in here oh it's actually got a free basically one of what i've already bought <laughs> I got one of their bron well I'll show you I'll show you when I get home. And I got the new Potter's pink bag as well. But anyway, I'm just gonna tuck into this and then head over to my parents. But if you're local to I think is it called Batley? Or have I made that up? Near Leeds, Neptune Outlet, Red Brick Mill. Even if it's an hour's journey like it was for me, I would definitely come back here just for a couple of hours. Um maybe even meet my mum as like a halfway point to have a little browse on the shops very dog friendly everywhere's dog friendly so yeah two thumbs up from us we've arrived safe and sound should we take your collar off we don't like keeping collars on do we i like to be nicky nicky so i've got a couple of bags to show you but also dad's just pulled this out from the garage I'm just having a look at it now it's it's more i'm scared a big spider's gonna come out <laughs> underneath the eaves that she wasn't willing to put in the garage okay well we'll have a look but yeah these are just ikea these aren't like nostalgic as no. for me but this is didn't you have um oh look at him what are they called were they, uh, they... Russian dolls. yeah that's it russian dolls there's loads of santas in there mum won't want that we'll take that <laughs> but i bet if she sees these dad she'll be she'll say actually yeah we can donate these for the which outside tree? The one in the lock, yeah. All right. We've got a tree in the car. Hang what on there? Like, uh, bubbles and stuff. No, I, I don't think Mum will want to do that. Oh, sorry about that. We're also outside the... see how big this tree is now. Oh, I remember this one. Little hanging snowman. But yeah, look how big the tree is now. It's suddenly got... Some white lights oh wow, oh there. that tree. Yeah. What's that called then? Some kind of fir spruce. It, yeah, it's a Nordic fir. Nice, it's kind of bluey, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is a blue fir or something. You can even you can get a star on top of that easily. I'm gonna just show you the bits that I got from the shops on route through. I think my mum's due home any second, but okay, so there's actually a really cute little shop. I can't remember what it's called now. I did vlog it, but was it friends of oh, front something something with f oh in fact there's a receipt here let's have a look found <laughs> found at red brick and they had loads of dales for farm bits hampers the bamford stuff got this because i have the rosemary thyme products that they do with like cleaning stuff and i've got next to the sink the uh washing up liquid like on a little white tray and i thought because it's the same packaging and it would look quite nice next to it the time sanitizing hand wash and then i popped into loaf to have a browse i didn't know they sold as much as they do there was a bed that i saw i don't know if i vlogged it i think i did vlog it actually it was in a king size in the store, but we've got a super king mattress. And as much as I love our bed that we got from the Cotswold Company two, three years ago now, can we believe that that's how long we've had our bed? Um, I There's quite a lot of scratches and stuff on it. And I toyed with the idea, not now, but maybe, maybe in the new year, maybe potentially switching out the bed. Because it also, it is nice, but there's a couple of things that I have like that I'm like ugh about it. Firstly, it's quite scratched up now, and he seems to scratch it with his paws when he gets in it. But also like the headboard and everything, it just marks really easily. Two, it's kind of the colour is just not. It's not black, and it's it's more like bluey black. Which as soon as I bought it and we put it up, I was like, oh, I'll get used to it, and I just. Every time I think, oh, if only it was just a slightly different colour. So, yeah. Um, what else that I don't like? The fact that it has a foot at the end of the bed, which means even I can sometimes feel it. And obviously Tom's six foot five, so sometimes his feet touch the end of the bed. Whereas when there's no like foot at the end of the bed, I feel like our previous one had that. And it makes it feel bigger. 
So, there was one in loaf that I saw and it's got like a cushioned headboard. Really, really nice. And I've got some swatches anyway um, of all the different fabrics that they do. And I'm thinking to get it in something like a natural linen kind of colour. I've got a few samples. That olive green is really nice. Um, that's like a darker linen. And we've got some lighter ones. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I just... Oh, they're going everywhere. <laughs> um... So yeah, those. And then what else did we get? I went to Heels. Lovely little shop. They had some of the Cartwright and um, Butler, is it called? Yeah, Cartwright and Butler food. And I'm gonna pop this in Tom's stocking this year because the honey that we used last, <laughs> Are you just wanting to get in on the action? Can you sit down? Good boy. Are you gonna stay there? Are you lie down? He's down. Good boy. Um anyway, yeah. The honey that we had, we've had a couple of really nice honeys recently and Tom's been using it a lot in cooking. So I thought I would get this natural honeycomb. Just for something a little bit different. It was twenty pounds. <laughs> so we're gonna move on swiftly from that. And also this was expensive for the size, but charbonnel and walker is that what they're called these like truffles that they do anything too flavored like um uh, the champagne truffles or i think they had gingerbread truffles i just thought mm -hmm. because they're expensive will i actually like them there was eggnog ones which i nearly bought but anyway i saw these and i thought actually i know i'm gonna love these so they are little yule logs Praline milk chocolate enrobed in milk chocolate and dusted with icing sugar. So, treated myself to those. Really nice for gifting at Christmas, that brand. And then, Potter's Pink, can you see it? So because I spent, well, I actually spent £99, but for the first, because it's a new opening, I think they were doing this offer for the first 250 customers. They had these goodie bags prepped and ready for if you spend over 100 pounds you get one of these for free and to be honest with you it's not much you just get a couple of these sample swatches which you get anyway and then these brochures the stories and the autumn winter directory which again are free uh, but you do get obviously the bag itself in their new color i can't remember the name of it and then one of these candles in the bronte scent for vein and um, these i think well let me just tell you because i did actually buy one because i didn't know i was going to get one of these bags until i got to check out yeah i got one for myself at they were 15 pounds down to 10 pounds and 50 pence and then what else did i get i got a few little christmasy decks for like my kitchen tree i'm gonna say firstly what's in this bag oh yeah we need a topper for that tree so i got this star which comes in a little neptune bag these were down from 26 down to 18 pounds. I also got, I'm gonna give one of these to my mum actually, um, but I also got one of these stars, I'll just open it, stars, trees, which I'll just open. So they were five pounds, but they were outlet price of three pound 50. I've got a little, how can I resist? A little fox. Now he doesn't really go with the color theme, but if you all know Mrs. Fox story then, Oh, no. so i thought i would get one of those and then also a couple of other felt decorations oh how much was that it was down from 12 pounds and it was 30 percent off then these little hanging decorations as well that i got uh eight pound 40 this one was and it's a new zealand sheep's wool it's made from a little polar bear with antlers on and then i've got this little one with a red scarf they had some bigger ones of these but i just thought i don't know where i would put it big one at again 30 percent off this was full price of 17 pounds and it's one of their reindeers which they also had so they had massive polar bears and big reindeers as well um so i got a little one of the rudolph red-nosed reindeer and that one comes in its own little little bag so is that everything that i got no i did also get some stems they had some really nice big uh pine cone stems but i went for the smaller ones because i do have some larger stems and i thought for like a smaller pot on the shelves somewhere i could pop these i'll probably just have to bend them up a bit but i've got three of them they were 
eight pounds, I think. That's what they look like. They've got little twigs coming out the top. They've got the little mini pine cones and it's a real natural fur colour, not again too greeny. And that's everything that we picked up. So I think we're just gonna have a chilled afternoon. Get decorating at mum's tr treat here. Dad just bought it out of the garage when I got home, it was already out. So hopefully we can get decorating the tree this afternoon. I, I think my mum's happy for me to help. So what a fun, festive, Kisses. That's just a head bar. Dogs don't like giving kisses, do they? How about a paw? Thank you. Oh, now you're giving me kisses. You're a kitty boy. Right, I think we've got a lot of baubles to go, a lot of glass ones. I haven't even seen what's in these boxes. Mum is definitely more of a hoarder than me, for sure. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. There's some boxes that I'm like, yeah, she's definitely, that's white company, that one, or similar. She's definitely used these but then there's some boxes that i'm like oh, i've not seen them for a few years we've managed to get the tree up yay santa claus coming to town santa paws is coming to town santa paws i think we need to floop out that front section a little bit and i'm good to go they're so much easier aren't they they're the pre-lit ones this is another balsam hill a few of you asked what tree i've got it's the i think it's called vermont spruce um, I don't know which one this is. What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas. And Christmas is my favourite time of year. We're making a start. It's not even focusing. But we've got all of these gorgeous baubles. I thought I'd just give you a quick overview. So I actually really like these ones. Do you know where they're from, Dad? No, you won't know. Mum? Where are the black and silver baubles from? Yeah, they're like got a diamond pattern. Love these as well. Where are they from? Yeah. Oh, can't remember. Helpful. Yeah, probably. It's usually if you can't remember, it's from TK Maxx. <laughs> these are nice little pears and apples. Got the pears there and then we've got some beaded ones what are these oh, a little beaded star I've got this big love i don't think that one goes to the train mum has this thing as well with her decor don't ask me why but we decorate everything in golds champagnes these kind of baubles there's a few glass ones but she does have a twig tree for glass baubles in the kitchen but she has um yeah one just one red bauble, so we'll pop that. We'll pop that on here at the top somewhere. Don't ask me why. That's just her thing, okay? We're just going with it. I really love these ones as well. I don't know if they're the white company or the dupe versions. That's so. We've got two of these loved ones. Are they the white company or are they dupes? No, they're white company. Okay. Right. So the big one. Yes. Lower down. The TK Maxx. Oh, so you have that one on the tree? There's two smaller ones and there's one bigger one. Yeah, so I have the smaller one on the sides and now the bigger one sort of where you can see it. At the bottom? No, middle. Middle. Top, middle or bottom. Top, middle or bottom. What was that, Michael Barrymore? Yeah. I was going to say Drew Barrymore then. <laughs> I wonder if they're related. No. Are you still filming? I'm still filming. But you can press play, Dad wants to watch TV. Yeah. <laughs> It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true. That's why I cheer. I've been busy decking the halls. I've been kind to big and small. And now it's time to have a merry holiday. What a feeling when it's time for Christmas.
Hello guys, we're on a new day. We've just had, I'm so, so happy with them. We've just had Donnell come and fit the blinds. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a housey update now. Let me just show you. I'm in my kind of like filming room, wardrobe room. Oh, I don't know whether to do lights on or off. Let's keep them off for now. And excuse the state of the windows. We actually need to get some window cleaners in because it's all dirty on the outside. But yay, we have them fit. So we've gone for the natural kind of herringbone colour. And I've got the same blinds throughout. So it's just a really nice natural kind of woven fabric you can see the herringbone on it it's just such a lovely finish the only thing is they've had to fit um these child safety locks which i'm not a big fan of and he did say if you don't like these like they have to fit them but if you don't like them you can literally just unscrew them and just fill it and paint over so we've got a few like areas that need repair work and everything you can see all this that needs properly filling and repainting over anyway so i think when we do that i might take that out and also have that bit redone because i just yeah they kind of kill the vibe especially the fact you can see the little red wall plug in there i feel like it's not really an essential for us and i was gonna say necessity gonna say an essential it's not an, an essential for us anyway oh oh so you forgot also got my bathroom again excuse the state of the windows if you can see how dirty they are on the outside but the blinds are in. We still need to get the extractor fit in this bathroom. We've got um, this bedroom, the spare bedroom, which obviously where we're going to have guests in here for Christmas. We now have blinds in this bathroom and this window up here. We will still at some point have a sliding door fitted here probably. But again, that's just a job for another day. I also feel like I might repaint this bedroom again it's one of those things that when we come around to doing the repair work it's like well because this bit's been painted now for a couple of years if you just went over the paint color that we used over a patch you'd see it so it's kind of like you need the full room doing so it's like one of those situations where we may just wait for a bit think about it in the new year don't even worry about it just yet and when we come to maybe redecorate or paint over all of those imperfections like in here as well, like I'll show you. Just the realities of renovations, you know? It's not all perfect and fresh, especially in old properties like this. And because we've had this bit done now for a couple of years and then we extended, we knew that through doing an extension as big as we have, there was gonna be settlement cracks, there was gonna be areas that would need redoing up here. So we were fully aware of that. That's why we initially we were just like, just blast it all white and we'll, maybe pick a colour in future, apart from our bedroom, where we went with the dark beige colour. The colour in here is just beautiful. I love how zen it is and it's different to the stark white everywhere else. I also got some bits that I have popped into, was it Home Bargains that I went to? Put the festive tree lights on, make it all cosy in here. Oh, it just makes me so happy. Having a tree up, I'm gonna miss this space when we don't have it anymore. I can hear some pitter patter. Hello, bunny. My gorgeous boy. Oh, nice neck scratch. Is that nice? We've actually got these. They're not staying here, guys. Don't worry. They don't go at all. But I've got these from Dusk, the inner and the cushion covers for when we have people over at Christmas. I had to order a load of new bedding, obviously, to be able to actually host people. So I got those. I just put them in those cushion covers last night. But yeah, they don't go down here. They're definitely better suited to a bedroom I would say but um yeah these are all the dusk bits that I've bought fresh bedding pillows duvets <laughs> towels we've got plenty because obviously we're going to have quite a few people staying over Christmas so I needed to prep all of that and I'm glad I've done it nice and early with Black Friday sales and everything so yeah dusk is always a good shout guys if you need to get a load of bedding it's just really nice quality anyway let me set you up here somewhere and we can go and get the bits to share oh, excuse me i also went to i was like i don't know if i'm going to do a full video on this but i feel like i might as well show you here and then we'll probably probably close off the video then because i feel like oh did you hear my hip crack then hello gorgeous Boy. I've also got some friends coming over that I'm going to be hosting. I think we're going to be doing a kind of wreath making, do like a nice kind of lunch, picky bit tea, picky bits tea 
which I was gonna vlog, but do you know what? I, I just want my girl time, and I just feel like I don't see this group of girlfriends that often. I don't wanna be pulling out a vlogging camera. I might get a few clips on Instagram though, so be sure to follow me over on there if you haven't already. Without further ado, I'm gonna jump into Home Sense or Home Bargains first. Home Bargains is kind of like essential, so I'll just run through them. Loads of poo bags. We've got some outdoorables, got a couple of those, and some fairy pods. Um, these looked fun. Nice little festive edition of the Nutella biscuits. So I thought I'd get these out to host with. And then also these, we've got some festive flavoured walkers, like new limited edition flavours. Festive turkey, pigs in blankets, and then this one, I'm not sure about, Christmas pudding sweet and spice. I also saw these cards in Home Bargains that I thought were really, really pretty, so I decided to pick them up. Um, I do have some Christmas cards already, but I thought as kind of backups or additional cards, um, yeah, 99p for those. They are charity ones as well. And also got some, which you might see throughout December, I'll probably show you. I'm gonna do some table gifts for Christmas, seeing as though we're hosting. And I picked up two bags from m and that I showed you guys can't find them since but these are quite similar so i picked up three more so that everyone on christmas day has got a little table gift bag and these are just gold and white that just say magical christmas 69p each nice scalloped edged top oh again another festive edition treat that i found that are brand new these ones are in chocolate orange home sense Firstly, how gorgeous is this cushion? I feel like especially in the kitchen, we're going a bit more traditional colors, the green and the red and the fun tree, which I'm so excited to get and decorate. So again, that will be in December because we want it to last till Christmas and real trees don't tend to last that long if you get them too early. But anyway, $14.99. So I'm gonna pop this on our uh, sofa in there. I just feel like these postcard pillows are so lovely. I also got a candle because when can you ever go to Home Sense and not get a candle? And this one, again, festive edition with this cute little wreath. I might even repurpose this wreath and pop it around maybe a photo frame or something as a bit of decor. But it's in the scent Fresh Pine, Fresh and Crisp from DW Home. It's got like a crackle wick as well. And I just love the fresh kind of pine scents like that. That one was $8.99. Got a cute little decoration for our fun tree, which is gonna be in the kitchen. It's a little Barney. But anyway, it's a cute little dog with a bell on his collar. I loved that. How could I not get that? $2.99. I saw this at the checkout. It's one of those checkout purchases, like last minute purchases that you make in um, Home Sense. But they had loads of different flavors of these old traditional tea boxes. And this one is Grandma's Cookie Tea, a fine blend of apple cinnamon tea, which I thought I would personally love. There were other ones. There was Santa's ginger tea or something which sounded nice but i thought i would get the apple cinnamon flavor because that would be my favorite 5.99 they are so hopefully they're going to be good because they're kind of pricey but cute little box and then oh some other christmas cards why can't i stop buying christmas cards <laughs> i just i'm a stationary lover i love the tradition of sending cards i know our generation don't tend to send cards that often but I love them, I love sending cards. So anyway, these were $4.99, and of course I had to pick them up because again, it's got a Barney on the front, and a little kind of scene, it's got these little houses that I love using, even a little stool like what we've got, Christmas tree, a couple of prezzies, and lantern, and that's just, that's just me. I just had to get them, had to get them. I also got a couple of hand towels that these I'm gonna pop in, well, I'm gonna put one of these in our downstairs loo. The nice kind of glitzy, champagne-y colored, more champagne-y? No, they're silver. Silver snowflakes, dangling snowflakes from Bella Lux. And these were 9.99. I feel like it's always really bad lighting trying to do a haul in the dark, plus this light shining right on my head is not ideal. Anyway, I saw this decoration. I thought it would make a nice addition to, I've got my little villagey scene up there with some trees and houses, but I might pop this in the other room actually, 6 .99. They had smaller ones as well, um, but it's just like a wooden, whitewashed wooden, scandy looking tree. And then, whilst I was next to the Home Sense, the one that I went to was the one in Stockport. There's a Tim Hortons there. 
made the journey for the Tim Hortons, not gonna lie. And they've got, I did buy some lunch, but they also had these for sale, which I thought again would make a lovely little gift, stocking filler gift, or I say stocking filler. This can be a main present gift because it's that good. But it's a taste of Canada at home. They have a few different flavors. This is their traditional French vanilla flavor, which is the best. These are so good, well worth having the caffeine for. Although they do do like a decaf shot. You know, like when you do the drive through or go into Tim Hortons, they can put a decaf in there. But this you simply just add, it says contains 14 portions and you just have to add two heaped tablespoons so quite a lot two heaped tablespoons wow. into a mug with a splash of freshly boiled water make a smooth paste by stirring that's how i do my hot chocolate as well make a paste first um unless if i'm using my hotel chocolate and then top up with boiling water stir the mixture before enjoying your drink but the french vanilla guys so delicious also got this this was i think this was home bargains actually just don't know why it's made it into the other bag, but um, Horlicks apple pie flavored, brand new. They had a Bakewell tart flavor as well. This, which I think we're gonna give to, oh, why is my jumper? There we go. Um, a family member for Christmas, so family members look away now, but I thought this would make a lovely gift for Christmas. A linen memories box, which you can fill with loads of different photos. It's got, uh, it says holds, 120 photos wow best get filling it um and it's yeah just like that but because it's quite thin like they don't take up much space it could be a bit of a memory box of other things as well maybe tickets or something you can pop in the little slots not just photos oh yeah i saw these these don't have to just be christmas as well which is why i got them especially but 6.99 these oven gloves with the striped inner i just thought they looked very sort of Sophie all poor, cute farmhouse, farm shop vibes. Normally quite expensive, but these ones are only $6.99. Got some kitchen bits, seen as though we're hosting loads over Christmas. Again, I like to have festive crockery and just kind of adds the extra Christmas touch. So I found this, I found one of these pumpkin cake stands that I used quite a few times over autumn, but I've got one for Christmas now. It's got snowflakes on it so so pretty i'm so sorry about the lighting guys but hopefully you can get a good idea of what that looks like that was yeah 12.99 same as the pumpkin one i remember that one being 12.99 as well and then to go with that i also got a matching mug their mugs in this design are 4.99 i just love how simple it is but it's also quite chunky good for hot chocolates and it's also kind of irregular in shape which again is just a nice little extra touch that I love. Then I also got in that same like design a serving platter and I was very tempted to get two of these. I thought no just get the one um because we do have like a plain one that we can use all year round that can be like the spare one if we need an another one which I'm sure we will especially boxing day because we're hosting quite a few people boxing day so I feel like We'll need all the serving platters out. We're just going to do picky food. But $12.99, again, this one is. And it's just, again, got those kind of same star stars, snowflakes on. Super, super pretty. And then, is that everything? No, one more thing. Oh, yeah. Never seen these before, but have fun. We can do some um, pancake baking in Vlogmas. We can do some fun little festive pancakes. So basically pancake or egg moulds as well. Um, three piece pancake and egg mold at $5.99 that you can just make them in the shape of either a snowflake a gingerbread man or a Christmas tree and that is everything that I picked up so I feel like yeah I might close this video off here actually because I feel like it's quite lengthy already but we are very much looking forward to December I have actually started this one getting confused because i've crossed wires because i've started filming a video for my first vlogmas episode which the plan is to do vlogmas more vlogs throughout december which i'm very much looking forward to so all the suggestions and ideas of what we can get up to do let me know also kind of home content as well because that's some of my favorite to watch in december especially like wrapping prezzies and getting cozy cooking baking so we're going to do all of that we're going to have some nice wintry walks glad you didn't recognize what word i was just saying there and yeah we're just going to have a lovely 
December. So I hope you guys are all excited. Subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on all of that festive content to come. And I hope you guys have enjoyed um, spending like autumn with me. Super excited for winter. Are we officially in winter now? I don't know when it is. December, January, February, isn't it? So anyway, my favorite season is pretty much gone, which is very sad. Although it's been very mild this November, hasn't it? The weather. Anyway, November days are over. We will see you guys back in December very, very soon for Vlogmas episode one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.